person of my standing trying to get along on an AA book. It's a lot of foolishness. I got business to take care of. What business, pal? Well, in the first place, I am well, gee, was I got responsibility. Oh, he really has, Mr. Wilcox. Yes. You know, he's the sole support of three pinochle players at the Elks Club. <laughs> You talk like a chump. Huh? Yes, mileage rationing is the only fair way to cut down non-essential driving. When the rubber this country has got is gone, it's gone. That's all there is. There isn't any more. Well, then they should have foreseen that and took care of the situation. Well, everybody can't be as far-sighted as you are, dearie. Is he pretty far-sighted, Molly? Why, well, he's uncanny, Mr. Wilcox. He's the one who said we'd lick the Japanese in ten days, remember? <laughs> Well, shucks. He's the one who said Germany would fold up from starvation last April. Yeah, I know, but circumstances... He's the one who said we'd never ship a soldier out of this country. I don't know how he does it. Though I will say he's made one accurate prediction. And what was that? Well, last night he said, well, tomorrow is another day. And sure enough, it was. <laughs> oh, well, he was... Fibber, I'm just a little bit ashamed of you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you had the brains of a seahorse, you'd realize the spot this country is in regarding rubber. I don't see what... why England does almost no civilian driving. Yes, but Canada that? has had mileage rationing for months. So is our eastern seaport. That, 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 and you stand there and squawk. You stand there and squawk, putting your petty little private life against the.